Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. show you how to make a sorrel and sorrel is something I grew up with as a boy in Barbados mum at Christmas time uh, which is so many fond memories for me I used to make a tremendous amount of sorrel should make it for my brother sister myself and sorrel never lasted really in the house and up until now as a grown man I really enjoy sorrel at Christmas and on Christmas day I have to have sorrel but the other thing about sorrel as well too is that sorrel is something you can drink through the, through the entire year so it's one of my favorite beverages and I want to show you how I make my sorrel very simple, nothing complicated. Uh, ingredients, of course, which you can source anywhere, anywhere you live in the world, but it's a really amazing drink. So basically, I just want to run through the ingredients with you first. Sorrel, of course, you need some dry sorrel. So I have some poppy sorrel here, I'll just show it to you. And uh, I bought this in the supermarket. And it normally comes with uh, some other things you put in the sorrel as well, what I use, which is basically um, some, some uh, bay leaf. So let's take this open as well so you can see it. My scissors is not that sharp for some reason. So right here you can see uh, pretty much we have some bay leaf, which I'm going to drop into this uh, container here. I also have some cinnamon stick as well too. And of course some cloves, which I add to my sorrel. Uh, this is the sorrel here. It's also called hibiscus as well, but normally we take this in Barbados and we tend to dry it out in the sun. I can remember mom putting it out on like a tray and she placed it in the sun outside. And when it comes really, really nice and dry, then we use this to make a sorrel. So basically this is a sorrel leaves here, or like hibiscus leaves. I'm gonna drop these right inside here. So I kind of open the pocket. Drop these right in here. And of course, this here you can purchase in any supermarket. I have seen this all over the Caribbean. Um, I'm sure you can get this anywhere in the world. Uh, but it's just basically dry sorrel leaves. Another name for it is called Roselle or hibiscus flower. So that's pretty much that there. So I pop this in here. We already have our cinnamon in here. We also have our cloves in here as well too. I also have what I really enjoy is some stir anise. So these are stir anise, which I'm gonna add in here too. And I have another cinnamon stick, so I'm just gonna break this and add this in here. And then the other thing as well too, I like to add to my sorrel, I have lime. I also have some orange and I also have ginger and I like to add these to my sorrel as well. So what I do, I take the lime skin and I'm just going to peel, I think for this amount I'm making, I'm going to use this entire lime. I'm just going to peel the skin all the way around so I can drop it into the dish here. And I'm going to peel this all the way around. I'm just going to get this now and we're just going to drop that right in there. What I'm going to do in the interim, I'm going to turn my stove on because you need to have some, some hot water. And then you also have an orange as well, so I'm going to add my orange as well too. My orange skin, or you know, we call it orange rind or orange skin. So I'm going to peel this all the way around also. And this adds a phenomenal flavor to the sorrel, especially the lime skin as well. Really, really makes it flavorful. So all of these spices enhances the flavor. So we're going to drop this right in here, I'm just going to pull this in half. And then the other thing I love as well is ginger. And I wanted to show you about ginger as well. Uh, basically with the ginger, what you want to do in terms of ginger, you want to scrape it. So I tend to just use the back of my knife and I scrape the ginger all the way off, the skin off actually. So you're just scraping the skin off. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to strain all this stuff out, but I just want to get uh, just take off some of the skin. So that's good. I'm going to do this next one as well. So just peel this all the way off. And scrape this. And uh, it's looking good. So once we have this all peeled, I'm just going to uh, just roughly slice this. It doesn't have to be perfect, so just slice this. Just in half a bit. And just slice this across. This way we can get the flavor from inside the ginger as well. So again, you can slice it or you can grate it, whatever you think you prefer. Okay, so we're gonna put this all inside here as well too. 
So that's inside there. And then the other thing we're going to do now is I have some hot water. You want to use hot water. I have some water in the stove which is, in, uh, which is boiling. I have at least about 10 cups of water there. So I'm going to add it to this bowl here. And let's do that now. So we're going to take this lid off. And let's add this now to our bowl. And we're going to steep this here. Now, mom normally steep this, and I normally steep it as well too, like overnight, but I found from experience, you can actually steep this for at least about two or so hours. And it will be perfectly fine. Let's just cover this back. So what we do now is, we just take a spoon here, we're just gonna stir this around a bit. And this is so gorgeous. And then what I normally would do is, uh, just cover this now with some plastic wrap. Let's grab some plastic wrap from the cupboard. So we cover this with plastic wrap. And we just leave this on the counter. And we allow this here to steep. I'm just gonna rest this here now. Uh, I'll just rest it here, I'll come back to it. So we allow this to steep for at least about two hours, but of course, it can be more. And you can also do it overnight as well too. And then once this is steeped, I'm gonna show you the next step as well. So we're gonna allow this to steep. I'm gonna come back to you for two hours, and we're gonna complete our sorrel, and then we're gonna taste this amazing beverage, which I thoroughly enjoy. Okay, um, so yeah, so I have a sorrel steeping for at least about two hours minimal time, but I would suggest you steep this overnight to really get maximum flavor from your hibiscus leaves. Also from all the other things I put into it, such as the orange skin, as well as the lamb skin, the clove, the star anise, the ginger, which gives a phenomenal flavor as well too. So I suggest you steep this overnight and then uh, flavor it the next day. But you know, sometimes we're anxious. Sorrel, as I said, is one of my favorite beverages. It's something I drink throughout the entire year. So very simple. So this has been steeping now for at least about two hours, again, overnight. So all I'm gonna do now is just to strain it into my jug here. I'm just gonna strain this. Pour this off into our jug. And the thing with sorrel as well, you want to be careful with this as well. It, the red pigment, you want to try not to get it on your clothing. And I have on a white shirt, so I'm being a bit careful. Because once it gets on your clothing, it can stain your clothing as well. So that's just something to know. So you want to keep this away from your clothing. But I'm just kind of straining off, straining off the hibiscus leaves. And the ginger, and the bay leaf, and the cloves, and the star anise, and the orange skin, and lime skin. All these different flavors that were inside here. Kind of straining this off and then I'm going to be adding some simple syrup which now is going to give me a wonderful flavor flavor to my to my soul. so let's just see if that's good so strain that off and just rest this right here and then what I'm going to do now is I have some simple syrup which is equal parts sugar and water so if you're using one cup of sugar brandy sugar you use one cup of water and we're going to add this now to our sorrel and this is like our sugar basically. So instead of adding sugar, because sugar tends to take a bit of time to dissolve, I added the uh, simple syrup. So we're gonna taste this, stir this around. And then what I have here, I have a glass here. I'm gonna get some ice so we can. Sorry. Okay, I have some ice here. We're gonna add our ice now. And I like to fill my glass a bit a lot of ice. So we add this right in here. And then now we're gonna pour our sorrel into our glass. Let's just pour this. Oh, this looks so delicious. Wow, look at that. That's amazing, look at that. Beautiful color, beautiful red color. Uh, I like to put a nice tall glass with ice. And of course, what I would prefer to do as well too is once I have uh, added the sugar to my, the simple syrup to my sorrel, I tend to put it in the fridge and let it chill until it's nice and cold and then I add my ice to it. Because I find when you add ice to a warm drink, it tends to kind of, like I said, it tends to warm down the drink a bit. But let's just taste this and see what it tastes. Mm. That's amazing. That's refreshing. And it's so rich, I can taste the ginger, and I can taste the spices as well to inside of it. It's really an amazing, refreshing beverage. So, this is the Beijing sorrel for you. So, if you have enjoyed this video, Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and again, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food.